I want to show you all something as a form of encouragement. If you are walking through a separation and you know you're heading for a divorce and you've never had to take care of your kids alone monetarily, I want to encourage you. So I was completely afraid of having to take care of my children financially. It wasn't that, you know, I was completely in fear my ex-husband wouldn't help. I knew he would, but there was this level of, okay, I've got to do my part too. Like he, he can't just be the only provider if we step into a divorce. And um, especially if they're gonna be living with me full time. There were just so many factors that were playing into it. And I had been a stay at home mom for five years prior to this. And so of course there was so much fear surrounding it. And the Lord just kept showing me, trust me, trust me, trust me. And while I wanted to put like just all this like faith and trust that, oh, God's going to provide. I, I would be lying if I didn't um, be honest with you and tell you that there were moments of fear. I was afraid. And anyways, so I remember I went to Tennessee to go back towards the same town that I went to college. And um, while I was there, I was eating lunch with a friend and I, we were genuinely talking about finances like me getting a job and at that time I had applied for all these jobs and we hadn't stepped into the divorce yet I was still in the separation but I was applying and nothing was happening nobody was taking the bait it just wasn't working and I could feel stress and anxiety really just trying to take over um, in that regard and I remember we were at lunch the the waitress comes up to me and she goes hey um, someone just paid for y'all's meal and I felt the presence of the Lord so strong in the, that moment she brings me the receipt this is the receipt on the receipt notice at the top it says paid and if you look very closely the waitress's name was Megan Megan or the server was Meg and I all of my friends my close friends call me Meg the server's name is Meg. On it, it says paid with a smiley face. And my friend looked at me and she goes, Meg, it looks like the Lord just gave you a love letter from heaven. And I was looking at this love note, which is my receipt. And I said, he told me he'd provide. And so now it's in my home in a frame as a reminder that God told me he would provide for the girls and I as we stepped into this new season. So another six months goes by of me applying, me applying, me applying. And one day I'm sitting at the table with a friend of mine, I'm at her house. She gets a call and she goes, okay. She gets off the phone. She's like on the phone, she's smiling and I'm like, I don't know what's happening here. And that's when she tells me, hey, my mom just called. They, her parents owned a facility, a medical facility. And she said, my mom just called and said, the job is yours, you're, you're to start whenever you can. Uh, and I was like, what job, what are you talking about? I never applied for this job, never reached out to her parents. None of that ever took place. But she gets a call and straight up says, the job is yours. And I just was like, wow. I, there was zero striving, there was zero stress, there was zero worry, it was mine. And so for the person that is afraid to step out because of money, our God is our provider, he can do the impossible, he can work away when you don't see the way, and if he provides for the sparrows, how much more will he provide for you? So take courage, take heart, and know that he is in the finite details, he is in every situation. He's taking care of you. And that if money is the thing that you're worried about, if, you've, if you're trying to stay in something that is not for you or good or of the Lord, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. God is working all things together for your good. And he's got such a divine purpose and plan for your life. And I just want you to be encouraged that that is, is the God that we serve. So I keep this, like I said, as a reminder that even today, if that tries to creep in, if, if I begin to try to worry over money or worry over something, 
um, materialistic. He's like, hey, no, I'm the God that gives. I'm the God that can provide. I'm Jehovah Jireh. So love y'all. Let that sink in. Marinate on that word today that he's your provider.